Welcome everybody, I'm John Zadar, AKA The Stock Wizard, and I wanna share with you a tactic of mine, a favorite one that helps me to find stocks that are going to be running. Yeah, this works really well about seven out of 10 times. We're looking for a stock, a particular stock, when it bounces off of the low bubble. Now, I tell you all the time, if a company has value and hits a low bubble, it's normally gonna bounce off of it. That's gonna be a catalyst just in and of itself. Why? Because there's lots of people looking for bargains. And when a low bubble pops up, as far as they're concerned, that's a for sale sign. They instantly do some quick DD, see if the company has value. If it does, boom, the stock starts to bounce off of that bubble. These stocks do the same thing. Though I have seen it lag. It can go a day, two days, three days. I've even seen a five day lag. But when they take off, they take off incredible. So what kind of stock am I talking about? I'm talking about warrants. Now don't get all freaked out. You don't have to do anything different. Just because they're warrants doesn't mean anything if you don't want them to be warrants. They're shares of stock. You buy them like stock, you sell them like stock because they are stock. But they're also warrants. What's a warrant? Well, a warrant is like a coupon, a promissory note, good for the future. Let's say, for example, this stock right now at 70 cents, they have warrants and when it hits 80 cents, the warrants are active and you can use them. And the warrant says any time in the next five years, you can buy a share of stock for $1. Well, the stock is only 80 cents right now, so you're not going to use the warrant now. But in four years from now, the stock may be $10. You're going to cash in your coupon, your warrant, and you're going to be able to buy a share of stock for $1. Dollar. Turn around and sell it for $9 and have all that profit instantly. So you've got big gains with warrants, but you also get big savings if you buy it on a low bubble. That is double gains, double profits between savings and gains. This is a very appealing trade to most traders and that's why they get the action. So what I do, I just come over to my screeners on my charting system. I use TOS, Thinkorswim. It's free. If you haven't got one, just go over to TD Ameritrade, sign up, no money down. You can use it just like I am. You're going to go over here and you're going to use a scan. And I just use the last price as my only filter. I put in 001 to $3. And then I just set it up by the biggest gains, the way we like to see it. And the tip off to make it very easy is you're looking for a W on the back of the ticker. Maybe a WS and that's it. They're very easy to find. I've got one up right now and that is what you would like to see. You want to see a nice downhill slope, water running downhill and then it hits a low bubble and boink bounces like a ball. Boy, that is beautiful and this happens over and over. Now I want to show you one thing here. This particular stock I have set up, and I'm going to do this for all the stocks because it does help. Instead of using the candle, there's the candle. If I come in on the five day, five minute, you see how empty it looks? It moved from here to here and then to here, but it's kind of difficult to see. So if we use this special bar called the Heiken Ashi, it looks like that. You can see the travel. You, you can see where it's moved and it looks a lot better. It looks delicious. Here's another one. This is also a warrant. Had a huge gain today. Let's come in on the minute. I want you to see that. Look at that. There's their low bubble. Hit at 77 cents. Climbed a little yesterday. Took a big drop. Everybody thought it was over, didn't they? These will trick you. These will climb for three to four days. Look at that climb now. That is 100% in one day. This one here, the first one we looked at, that was a 80% gain, I believe it was, 41 cents to 70. You're not excited about that? I'm always excited about anything over 20%. But let me see if I can entice you a little bit more. Here we have one at 25 cents three days ago. In less than two days, it hit $1.10. That's over 400% gains. Now, chances are you would not have gotten it. I couldn't have gotten it because it was pre-market after market. And OTC stocks, they just aren't tradable for most of us pre-market after market. But it did settle here at 83, which gives you over 200% gains, even though you missed that. Don't worry about what you missed. Be glad about what you get. We got another one here. 
No, oh, now this is a perfect example. This is great. What do you mean it's not great? What's wrong with that? Right, it's not bouncing up. My point doesn't happen all the time. Nothing is always and nothing is never. It's a matter of probability, most likeliness. And this is a great example. Now it could, it, this has been one, two, three days, four days. I've only seen it go five days. But this was a long tag on that low. It didn't hit it organically. I put a line there because it could come down to that. And when it hits it organically, I think it's going to make a difference. Let's take a look at one more here before I show you how to find these. Here we got a little bubble, 21 cents, went to 42. Not a big gain, but that's 100% folks. And that took two days to get there. So how do you find these? I'm showing them to you after they've happened. Well, obviously it's best to do this at the beginning of the day, you know, early in the day, but all you got to do is come over here to percentage change, click it over. Start from the bottom up. Look for tickers that have the W behind them. We've got Dave W here. Now, this one's already happened once. Hit a low back here of 54 cents one day. Look at that fall. Look at that fall. That's a beautiful giant gain. And then that's a huge fall. And everybody was probably diving out. It's over. But look, you got to read your SMAs. It came down to the 50 and tested it and came right back up and even got wilder. Put on some more heat, fell again, and then made a new high again. So as I said, they can be volatile, but the gains, the gains are ridiculously strong. Now this went from 54 cents to $1.65. You're talking just over 300% and then it fell. So you're not hanging on to these unless you want to keep the warrants so that you can exercise them, which is a whole nother video. We won't get into that. Let's look at another one. Uh, this one hit a low, but that wasn't, ex nah, let's come in on the five minute. I want to see the five minute version of it. All right, see, it hit a low, but that's not organic. She's going sideways and they don't all have to fit. We're looking for one that does fit and it doesn't hurt to come out a distance so that you can see now here we've got one, it hit a low of 44 and it ended the day at 44. So it's on its low right now. It is on its low bubble. Let's take a back peek at this four hours. So she's had some highs here. You can see the 200. She breaks through it and comes back down. Breaks through it and comes back down. She broke and came back down, but she's hit that low again. Now it's not the ultimate low. We, we can see that. Let's see what else we got going here. We got a low, low back there, but if we come in on the five day, even the 20 day, we're going to be at a low bubble. And you got to remember, most people aren't trading on a four hour chart. They're not trading on a 20 day chart. They're trading on a five day chart, maybe even a one day chart, you know, five day, five minute chart. And they're going to see these bubbles. And that bubble came from 70 cents down to 48 cents and is bouncing back up. It took a dip, but it crossed to 50 here. My whole point is that there is activity on these low bubbles. Sometimes they're big, sometimes they're small, sometimes they're erratic and last for days. But this is how I find setups. I look for those low bubbles and I try to catch them early in the game. And you don't have to go real slow. You can just, like right there folks. Whoa, okay. That is a 20 day, let's go back four hour. That is a six month low. How about for a year? All right, that is a legitimate opportunity right there, folks. You can see she leveled off here, had a peak, peak, and has fallen. This is her norm, way up here. No doubt about it, that's up at $1.26 roughly. She's at 42 cents, has hit a low today, I do believe that is, at the end of the day. She hit a low, so there is a very strong likelihood that this is going to bounce back. This is BRDSWS. Let's get another look here. Our oh, one minute isn't going to help. We got to come out a little bit more. Ah, let's back out. This looks like another one that may be setting up. Right. See, we've got a long downhill trend, had a spike there, and she's hit a low bubble right now. Whew. Yeah, we are on that low. Now, there's not a lot of volume, folks. Sometimes there's big volume pops, but the whole point is it is that price bubble. When a price bubble hits a warrant, low, you get activity. So you see how this is done. There's another one, low bubble, 28. 
Right now it's at 28.22, so it could just be starting its bounce back right now. What does this look like on a four hour? Well, she was up here at 50 cents, she's at 28. That was just 20, well that's four hours, so that is six months. So, looking for stocks that have the W behind them, whether you are looking for gainers through the day, which is, I normally come over here during the day, and I look at these, I look for the W, and I, oh, and I look for that pop in the morning. Now this one, obviously I would have missed, that happened all during pre-market, but in saying that folks, that's a great example. There's the low bubble. It went straight, looks like nothing was gonna happen. People were disappointed. Come on, patience is what's most important. If you'd have gotten into this, when you saw that low bubble and said, oh my gosh, look how low this is, and how low is it? Let's compare this to the four hour chart. Well, she's been falling. I'm not going to say she's super low. Well, back here she was at 62 cents. So yeah, yeah, we're talking a thousand percent down, a thousand percent down on a warrant. So that means this warrant has a heck of a lot more value today than it did yesterday. Let's go back to that five minute. So if you'd have bought it here, boom, you'd have had your oh my goodness, folks, you'd have had yourself 1,100 percent gains, and it stayed there all day. You'd have bought on that bubble and woke up to a thousand percent gains. Your hundred dollars would have been a thousand dollars. See how easy that can be folks. All we're doing is looking for those W's whether you're on the dark side or the bright side and you're just clicking them to see what they present and see if there's an opportunity waiting. There was the low bubble three days ago. 47 cents. Went sideways like it ignored it and nothing was going to happen. And without any news press, without any CEO updates, without any catalyst, boom, you get a launch here. That's only 50%. Only. <laughs> See, folks, there's lots of gains every single day and they change. Every day it's a different, a different menu and you can serve yourself up just like I did by going to your scanner, putting in a price, looking for the W's at the end of the ticker and seeing what is out there. Remember, the more you know, the more you're going to grow. See you, folks.